Okay, this is the notes for section 3.6, Recursive Formulas for Sequences. If you haven't done so already, make sure you pause the video and uh, read section 3.6 before going on and taking these notes. Um, so if, if you think about sequences, first of all, let's just let's make sure that we remind ourselves what a sequence is. A sequence, once again, is a function whose domain is the set of natural numbers or the counting numbers or a subset of that. So you can have a sequence that only has a domain from 1 to 10 or from 5 to 15 or 5 to 70. You know, it, it really doesn't matter, but it's got to be a subset of the counting numbers or the positive whole numbers. Okay. Now, one way that we can do that is by looking at it recursively. And recursively is when we look at a sequence by look giving the value of the first term and then giving a way of calculating each additional term by using previous term or terms. Okay, So that's how we're going to do it when we look at something recursively. Now one way that we can do that is we can actually generate a sequence this way by using our calculator. So any sequence of numbers that is defined by adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing by a constant can be generated on your calculator. And the way that you do that is you enter your starting number. So if you look at this example here, if we start with 113, okay, and then if you hit enter on your calculator, it will show 113 again. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to hit your plus sign, and it will bring up A and S like this. So if I want to add 41 each time, I'm just going to take A and S plus 41. And if I keep hitting plus 41, plus 41, it will generate the sequence. So this column over here, that represents the values of the sequence. So here's my first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, etc. Okay? So you can use your calculator for generating sequences recursively. <laughs>
Okay. Now that's not telling us to subtract anything from the value of our sequence. What that's saying is that whatever term number we're looking at, the previous term is that number minus 1. So if I'm looking at L sub 6, then the previous term would be L sub 6 minus 1 or L sub 5. <laughs>